Philanthropy. The Oxford English Dictionary states that philanthropy is the desire to promote the welfare of others, especially by a generous donation to a good cause. And so, who here can satisfy that definition and be a philanthropist? Let's test this idea out within this group. Can everyone take out their wallets and their checkbooks and write a check to a generous cause? Just for example, let's say St. Jude's. Okay. For those of us like me who couldn't write a check for a couple thousand dollars, or even five, does that mean that we cannot be philanthropic? Can I not be philanthropic? My mother is a low-income American from Sierra Leone, West Africa. When she came to the states, she was fleeing a civil war. Coming to the states, she noticed that she was afforded many privileges her peers back home were not, including access to post-secondary education and protection against certain discriminations. Being that she was Aware of these privileges, she felt that it was her need to help those left behind in Sierra Leone. Twenty years later, she returned back to Sierra Leone, and as she was traveling from the capital city of Freetown to a smaller city of Bo, she met a young boy the exact same age as me. She looked at the young boy and said, "Why are you in school?" The young boy explained how his mother could not afford to send him to school. My mother broke down in tears, seeing me in the eyes of this young boy, and she promised to do everything she could to help him succeed in his educational endeavors. She promised everything from admissions into a school to everything he would need to、um, eat his lunch, and she did all this without writing a single check, only using her personal privileges as an American and her connections to the Sierra Leone educational system to help significantly improve the life of this young boy. And so, when she came back to the state, she sat me down and she explained what she had done for this young boy and what she had planned to do for many other children, and then. She opened my very young and philanthropic eyes. One day, as I was watching my favorite show, *Sit the Science Kid*, <laughs> I was really interrupted by a commercial that we've all seen. The commercial depicted a very young African or South Asian child, barely dressed and malnourished, saying that five cents a day can help improve the life of this young boy or young child. And even then, I could understand that five cents wasn't going to do much to improve their lives. So inspired by what my mother was able to do with zero cents, I thought I can do something too. After my mother had raised two children and unofficially fostered many others, there was plenty of clothing sitting around in our garage. I proceeded to take those clothing and throw them at the TV with the ex- expectation that the clothing would fly through and appear in front of the children. And of course it did. And so it became a tradition every year for us to throw clothing at the TV in expectations that the, they would be donated to these young children. And if you're wondering how this worked, the megapixels in the screen were larger. I'm kidding. That's not how it worked. But <laughs> this did inspire my mom to think of other ways to help better the lives of others. And so every year we would take clothing and shirts and shoes and anything that we could, and we would package them up and take them to Sierra Leone to be given to children who are、um, in need of the clothing. And so, in my in my older age, I started to think about my privilege a little bit more. The clothing was given to them to help better their lives、um, and opportunities and education systems where they might require、um, where they might require clothing. So, in my old age, I thought about my privilege a little bit more. I live in America, a developed nation. I live in Massachusetts, a state that has one of the best public school systems in the country. I never go to bed hungry, nor do I have to necessarily work to support my family. These are all privileges my peers within this country, let alone other parts of the world, do not have. And so I wanted to give back as well. I started small. I started to help my mother in her donation process, and I would try to find shirts and shoes, anything that could possibly be used to help better the lives of others,、um, to give to the children in Sierra Leone. And around the age of 13, my mom got a job in Accra, Ghana. And while she went to enjoy the warm sun, I stayed in the cold to pursue my education. But during the summers, I would travel to Texas, where my mother wasn't there to help continue the donation process, and I felt I was missing something, not giving back, though I had the opportunity to. So I continued the process there as well. I went to my uncles and my cousins and my neighbors' houses, garages, and storage units to find any piece of clothing that could be used to help better the lives of others. And I knew I was doing something. I didn't know what it was called because I didn't want to call it philanthropy because I still had that mindset that it needs to be associated with money in order for it to be philanthropic. 
But then I thought, can only the rich and wealthy help better the lives of others and be called philanthropic? Because clearly everything me and my mother were doing would help bettering the lives of these young children's lives. And so, I believe the definition of philanthropy is an idea, event, or an action that is done to help better humanity, especially by a sacrifice of some kind. And so, if earlier you were not able to take out a check for write, to write a check for $1,000 or 25 cents, that's okay. You can still be philanthropic in your own way. You can still give non-monetary donations and still improve the lives of others. I'm not asking individuals to think of themselves as Captain Save the Poor, but to think of the position within society and use their privilege to help better the lives of others. Many people are put into positions at no fault of their own, and it's only right that we use our privilege to help improve those in need. I share my experience of philanthropy to help create a society that sees helping your fellow man not as a chore, but as a norm. Money does not make the world turn, only shake a little. Compassion, sacrifices, and throwing clothing at the TV is what really makes the world hit a 360. Thank you.